Oh, Big would you look at that? Hey, Freeman? Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Well, good morning, Freeman. We can talk on my lunch break. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Aw, oh, man, you cut the ponytail. Sell out. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Hey! It's happening! Cut it out! What the hell is going on up there? My horoscope was correct! Did someone pull this fire alarm or something? Come on, Gordon! What are you trying to do? Get me into trouble? Bertha! Bertha, come in! Yeah, yeah, I'm here. What the hell is going on up there? Uh, we had a little accident up here, sorry. Yeah, well that better be the last accident you have today. Understood? Ah, uh, copy. Get away Gordon. from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important Gordon, don't touch it! Sunshine, Use another computer. Gordon? Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. For Pete's sake! Sergeant, Come on, Gordon, I'm trying to work here. Do you try to break everything you touch, Gordon? Good morning, Mr. Freeman. My god! Progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? Can this wait? Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Dr. Wilson, please call Observation Tank 1. The sample was just sent down to the test chamber. Man, you're an asshole, you drunk. Keep your busy little hands to yourself, Freeman. Keep your busy little hands to yourself, Freeman. Do I waltz into your office unannounced and proceed to run amok? I think not. Security Officer Tanak, please report to Office Complex. Go bother someone else, Gordon. Man, someday My God, I'm own this what are you place. doing? Oh, there's management. Let me guess what they're talking about. You, sir, are mad! Dinosaurs are reptiles! They must be cold-blooded! Now you listen, and you listen good. Birds are one of the closest living relatives to dinosaurs we have. And I don't need to tell you that they're all warm-blooded. Do you know how difficult it is to maintain thermostasis for an animal so large? They're cold-blooded, I tell you! Let me tell you something. There's evidence to suggest that Velociraptors had feathers. Feathers! But what does that tell you? All right, this is stupid. I may as well go to work. You got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. Hopefully things will die down around here soon. I don't know about that, Dr. Truman. Seems to me that he's just spouting buzzwords in his research papers that he picked up from perusing popular scientific periodicals. <sighs> Another improper use of the Boltzmann constant. Good heavens, the buffoon spelled Chandra Sekar limit incorrectly. Do you try to break everything you touch, Gordon? Do you try to break everything you touch, Gordon? Am I hearing things? Turn down the music, you friggin' bass head! It sounds like a strip club in here! God damn! Just get the fancy girls in cages, why don't you? Good lord! 
program. Who knows? How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than a replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated- Bah! I can't stand to hear another word of this malarkey. Don't mind him, but here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar-coated airsots are absolutely full of it. Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. Now let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. I'm rather looking forward to this analysis, aren't you? You know, you repeat yourself sometimes. Morning, champ. Hello. Good heavens! What the hell? <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. What am I, target practice? Can you access the mail server? Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? <sighs> Drat. No toilet paper. Uh, hello? Hello? Oh, thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Keep your busy little hands to yourself, Freeman. Ah, I remember my days in the hazardous environment suit. Don't you think you should calculate those resonance dampening factors again? Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Gordon, I'm in the middle of something here. Where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? 
I'm sure it'll show up sooner or later. Laser! Caution! Laser! Caution! Laser! Caution! What could it mean? Do you know how to fix it, a paper jam? Gordon. Ah, Gordon. There you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. That the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't Gordon feel doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. You're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Testing. Testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level. Nor how long it can take. But please, work as quickly as you can. Standard insertion of non-standard specimen. Oh! 